Welcome back to the wood shop and day 10 of make timber. <laughs> Today we're cutting polycarbonate. To say that I don't know what I'm about to do um, is an understatement. Here we have a piece of 16th inch polycarbonate. It has its film on both sides, one of which I will be taking off so that I can use double sided tape. I've got this piece of plywood here on the bed because I still want to be able to probe off of my material and I want to be able to run this up against the side of it. We're not going to be using our quarter inch bit because I think that that's too much. I don't know. So we are going to be using the skinny Jenny, the downtown Jenny. My file says that it's only going to take 16 seconds to cut out, which probably means that I screwed something up. Let's see what happens. I knew that that wasn't enough time. I pressed start and I ran out of the wood shop. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> oh, cool. That's, that's helpful. Thanks, plywood. That's nice, right? And besides the tape residue on it, maybe I, I think that I can leave both sides of the uh, transfer tape. What's up, Hamilton? I am trying to cut 16th inch polycarbonate with your downtown skinny Jenny. When you're cutting that plastic and you're using the down shear tool geometry, uh, you risk kind of recutting those chips and melting it. So you're saying that it can cut it, it just shouldn't? Yeah, I, I wouldn't use a down cut on any plastic. I'd definitely use some type of an up cut. All right, folks, you heard it here first. Uh, the eighth inch downtown Jenny bit is purpose built for polycarbonate. And that's from the maker of the bit himself. You know, no words being twisted here. Have you ever like spent so long designing something and then uh, didn't realize what you just made until after it gets cut out? This is the interior piece. <laughs> now how people have like truck nuts? <laughs> we can have spindle nuts. <laughs> Got our spindle nuts right here. This is what we're looking for. Yeah, yeah. Can you see it because it's clear? Probably not. Besides the now obvious testicles that were cut out, we've got this. Now, this is meant to hold an apple, specifically an old rotten apple. This could be hanging from a tree with fishing line, and you could spike that apple right here and watch nature take action. So obviously, if you have a laser, you can sit around and make CNC testicles to your heart's content. Wait, is it till your heart's content or to your heart's content? You can make testicles until your heart's content. You can make testicles to your heart's content. They both sound wrong and right. Let me know down in the comments below. Next, we're just going to be taking some fishing line, tying a good old fisherman's knot. It's be a fun little project for kids and stuff. It's actually the last apple in the house. My wife was like, what? And I was like, yeah, for the video. And she's like, what? It's like I've never tied a knot before in my life. Now we wait. So over the next 20 days of projects, I will show y'all if an animal comes and gets that or not. This project is something that I would probably sell for like five bucks. Um, it's more of like a fun little thing to do with kids. I personally think that it will work. Uh, my wife doesn't. So let me know down in the comments below if you think that birds will actually come and eat this apple or not. All right, so our 10 days have elapsed, which means that now instead of individual files, which will continue through all 30 days, the first set of 10 day package, which is substantially discounted, will be available. Thank you very much to the Make Timber supporters. Check them out in the description down below. The hint for tomorrow is tea. Thank you all very much for stopping by the woodshop today. See y'all tomorrow.